in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 23rd of november thursday of the 33rd week in ordinary time today we have the optional memorial of saint clement the first pope and a martyr brothers and sisters now let's focus our attention on the gospel reading of the day a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 19 verses 41 to 44 at that time when jesus drew near and saw the city he wept over it saying would that you even you had known on this day the things that make for peace but now they are hidden from your eyes for the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade round you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground you and your children within you and they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not know the time of your visitation the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ brothers and sisters according to saint irenaeus the glory of god is a human being fully alive for our true life is the vision of god we catch that vision of god in the gospels where we see in christ an example of a man who truly was fully alive the gospel stories show us for example that it simply isn't true that the holier we get the more stoical and emotional we become look at today's story about jesus weeping over jerusalem Here is the holiest man alive and we see him filled with sadness and grief or think about the anger he showed when he drove the merchants out of the temple so why do we sometimes fear our emotions or try to hide them when god made us in his image he declared everything about us good yet the wound of original sin gave rise to selfishness inordinate desires and hostile aggression because of human sin we have all been hurt in our search for love and we have all experienced how destructive emotions can be and so to protect ourselves we often build strongholds and defenses the problem with this strategy is that our fortresses can also keep us from the natural expression of true feelings kept bottled up for so long these feelings sometimes jump out in defensive counter attack and leave us feeling even more guilty all the while upheld hurts and unmet needs remain locked up in our hearts in the final analysis our fortresses can leave us feeling cold lonely and only partially alive god wants to make us fully alive so that we can show the world what a healthy balanced christian life is like he wants to free us to rejoice and mourn to become angry at injustice 
and to show our love for everything that is true and right and beautiful in this world the next time you encounter a situation that provokes you to an emotional response don't deny your feelings or condemn yourself for not being holy enough instead bring your reactions to the lord ask him to purify them and let him make you fully alive lord free me to rejoice with you and to mourn with you to hope in your coming and to conquer my fears give me the grace to channel all the energy of my emotions into fulfilling your purposes amen brothers and sisters the responsorial psalm is a promise by god to take care of those who remain faithful to god by offering sacrifice only to god if people worship the lord god alone god will rescue them from whatever forces rally against them trusting in this promise of god let's pray the psalm now your response to one whose way is blameless i will show the salvation of god to the one whose way is blameless i will show the salvation of god the god of gods the lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting out of zion the perfection of beauty god is shining forth to the one whose way is blameless i will show the salvation of god gather my holy ones to me who made covenant with me by sacrifice the heavens proclaim his justice for he god is the judge to the one whose way is blameless i will show the salvation of god give your praise as a sacrifice to god and fulfill your vows to the most high then call on me in the day of distress i will deliver you and you shall honor me to the one whose way is blameless i will show the salvation of god glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen novena prayer to the infant jesus in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen to be with the children of men is my happiness says the lord jesus lived among the people as a friend and helped them in their needs he healed everyone who had faith in him and came to be known as a spiritual physician here represented as a child he stretches out his helping hand to all those who have recourse to him The more you honor me the more will I bless you says the infant Jesus of Prague Let us pray for our intentions O holy infant Jesus through your life on earth you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power so now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions of those who call upon you in faith and trust amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us the stay our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen 
and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and the word became flesh and dwelt among us glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o infant jesus bless us and hear our prayers glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o infant jesus bless us and hear our prayers glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o infant jesus bless us and hear our prayers o miraculous infant jesus look upon us as we turn to you imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications and grant us the favor which we ardently implore you free us from all affliction and despair all trials and misfortunes give us your support and consolation good health and happiness so that we may praise you and the father and the holy spirit now and forever amen thanksgiving prayer o most generous infant jesus we on our knees before you have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands we believe jesus that together with the father and the holy spirit you are our creator and savior henceforth we place all our trust in you to this miraculous statue may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors all praise and honor be to the infant jesus amen let's pray for god's blessing may the lord jesus be with you to defend you may he be with you to sustain you may he go before you to show you the way may he follow you to guard you from above may he bless you with the father and the holy spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthday especially deacon pranam jovin fernandes and sister shanta both are carmelites ashlyn mario sequera from yaya presently in canada domasino fernandes from kolwale goa kenneth krasta from daman saudi arabia malcolm norona from kuwait jacinta antony de souza from mira road mumbai and marceline martis from tirthalli shumoga wish you all a happy birthday god bless you and we pray for the departed soul of francis de souza from hospital mudbidri may the lord grant him eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great day see you tomorrow bye bye